A square loop PQRS carrying a current of 6 ampere is placed near a long wire carrying a current of 10 ampere as shown in figure. Let's say this current is I1 given by 10 ampere and the loop carries current I2 where I2 is 6 ampere. We had to show that the magnetic force acting on the part PQ is equal and opposite to that of part RS. Okay. Now let's suppose we have the direction of the current in the loop like this. Okay. Now clearly due to this long current carrying conductor the magnetic field at PQ will be varying. It won't be a constant. Let's suppose I do all the stuff of integration and all those things. I calculate B net that is acting on via PQ and let it be something B dash okay now this is my B dash which is acting on the wire PQ similar the similar will be the magnetic field that will act on RS because PQ and RS are parallel are of same length so this will also be the B net on RS alright now we do have a magnetic field we do have a current so obviously some force will act on PQ as well as RS so let's calculate the direction all right the force is given by b i l fine current is same length is same and from this equation i can say that magnetic field is also same so the force that is acting on rs and pq will be of same magnitude let's talk about direction okay now due to this current carrying conductor the magnetic field will be inside for both of them now apply ideal cross b I have ideal cross B for PQ so force on PQ is in downward direction and force on RS by ideal cross B is in upward direction so hence F net due to PQ and RS will be zero because both the forces are equal in magnitude and opposite that is the proof for first part alright in second part I have to calculate the magnetic force on this square loop fine now I have proved you that the force on PQ and RS are equal and opposite so the resultant for both of them will be zero let's talk about on the force acting on PS and RQ okay so the force on PS will be first of all due to long current carrying conductor A and due to RQ fine now we know that a general force is given by B I L so magnetic field is usually given by mu naught I1 by 2 pi P into I2 into L fine now using this same very formula for PS I do have force on PS due to long current carrying conductor so that will be mu naught I by 2 pi this will be I1 alright I1 is this current perpendicular distance is 1 centimeter that is 0 0.01 mu naught I by 2 pi p into I2 I2 is the current in this wire that is 6 length of PS is 2 centimeter that is 0 0.02 alright now magnetic field is inside inside as we showed direction of the force on PS due to this magnetic field is calculated by ideal cross B so it will be here ok force due to straight wire and uh, the force due to RQ ok now here it is RQ I have magnetic field due to RQ is in upward direction at PS fine so I can write it as let's it is this part so I do have minus of mu naught into current in RQ that is 6 divided by 4 pi perpendicular distance between them that is 0 0.02 centimeter into 2 times of sine of phi that is none other than a by root 2 so let's say I can write it initially as sin phi that is let's say I took a middle point over here 
and uh, join this lines this this is my angle phi all right this is magnetic field into current i into length is again 0 0.02 all right now calculating the value of sin phi i do have this distance is a by 2 and uh, this distance will be a so it comes out to be a root c by 2 hypotenuse is a root c by 2 all right so sorry a root phi by 2 so sin phi comes out to be all right in the second part we have to calculate the magnetic force on the square loop so we'll calculate the force on via ps first all right now the force on this wire will be due to the magnetic field produced by the long current carrying conductor and the wire rq so uh, due to the current carrying conductor the magnetic field will be inside that is calculated by right hand thumb rule and due to rq the magnetic field at ps is upward fine so the force i'll calculate the force per unit length acting on ps so i have mu naught into i1 by 2 pi p this p is the perpendicular distance between both of them into current i2 this is the force due to long current carrying conductor on wire ps and minus because the force due to rq is opposite to that of the force due to current carrying conductor so i have mu naught into i2 into i2 divided by 2 pi p again p is the perpendicular distance between them and that is 0 0.02 meters fine so substituting the values i have mu naught that is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 into 2 pi into i1 into i2 that is 10 into 6 divided by 0 0.01 minus 6 into 6 divided by 0 0.02 so on solving this equation, I get the force on PS as 8.4 into 10 to the power minus 4 Newton and the direction is towards right. Similarly calculating force on the RQ, I have mu naught into I1 into I2 by 2 pi P. Now P is this distance minus mu naught i2 into i2 by 2 pi point zero two. so again just substituting all the values I have force on RQ as 2.6 into 10 to the power minus 4 and that is again towards right so the F net is force on PQ plus force on RS that comes out to be 11 into 10 to the power minus 4 Newton.